Wow, that was really impressive. Got like a whole foot of air off the ground there. I mean, wow, that is just so impressive. Man, I wish I could do something that cool. But TikTok told me this was done by trained professionals. The actions in this video are performed by professionals or supervised by professionals. Do not attempt. What exactly am I not meant to attempt? Jumping on like a foot off the air while down on all fours? Or stretching my ass in the air. Where's my sponsor for Red Bull for walking around on my two stumpy little legs? Bruh. Yeah. Yeah. Bruh. Yeah. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, why, why did you just launch? <laughs> Bro, you cannot post a video of all your friends doing something like throwing their legs up in the air and then you just grab this little person and just straight up launch them. Rumor has it she's actually still flying. But yeah, today guys, we are looking at some dumb TikToks. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. Let's just continue the video. The capital of the USA is? It's in the capital of the USA? Yeah. What is the capital? USA. The capital of the USA is USA. I'm sorry, you have the IQ of a fart. You have literally the IQ of a gas cloud that comes out of someone's ass. United States? Yeah, like, of the states, what's the capital? America? How are you this dumb? I mean, seriously. I'm not even from America, and I can tell you it's Washington, D.C. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a trick question. You got me, you got me. You know who the first president of the United States was? Abraham Lincoln. This dude's pants are sagging lower than his IQ. Why would you ask him such a really hard question like that? Do you know how many stars there are on the US flag? A hundred? I don't know, about two hundred, something like that. Yes, around. I'm not saying everyone in America has the IQ of a potato or a fart, but like, these guys aren't really putting you guys in the top contenders for smartest country. Okay, hear me out. This is strictly science. If we were to harvest this human being, we might actually have a cure for social anxiety. Like, this guy is busting out some serious moves. I don't really know what this was, but hey, he, he did it with absolute confidence. I'm not a dance expert, but I think this move is the slap your schmeat so hard it becomes numb and just dies. Oh, Ben, we love it when you lose brain cells for us. Yeah, I'm having a great time over here finding this content. How do you think I feel when people ask me what I do for a job and I tell them I find clips online and they find this. Like I really need to take into consideration that I'm probably gonna have a shorter life expectancy than someone who smokes 20 cigarettes a day. Hard to hear you. Can you speak a little bit slower as well and make it a little bit easier for our learning? Hmm, it's hard to hear you, man. I wonder how they could help improve that. Yeah, that's a nice AirPod you've got in your ear right there. You may as well have just walked into a movie blindfolded and complained that the screen was too small because you couldn't see it. Virgins, or if you're friends with a virgin, send this to them. Hey, man, I know, I know you're a virgin, so I just found this TikTok, and I'm going to send it to you to make sure you know it's okay. What a weird TikTok that would be to send one of my friends. They might already be insecure, and then there's just me sending them a TikTok of some motivational virgin speech. Unfortunately, one in three men are either a virgin or haven't had sex in the last year. And I'm gonna tackle the virgin side of this problem. Now I know way too many people now, men, not women, why is there really sad music on the background of this? It's making it out to sound like he's got some deadly disease. Oh, you've got the big virgin. You're just gonna die. And of course, this is aimed at men, not women, because all women are just <laughs> just evil out here sleeping with a tree if they could. That are getting past 25 that are still virgins. And it's quite alarming because I think once you get to 21, 22, and you still haven't lost it, 
that's when it becomes increasingly difficult then to lose it because i'm gonna save you guys a lot of trouble if you're insecure about this literally nobody cares that's it nope honestly no one cares this guy honestly makes it out that if you're still a virgin by the time you're 21 22 you're just gonna spontaneously combust and die i guess it might be a big deal if you're still in high school and a lot of your friends are doing it but i can imagine the first time anyone ever does it they're probably like two fish out of water it just sucks moving on because this is a bible channel and we are all about christianity and our lord and savior spaghetti Do you know what? I don't really need to see the entirety of that video because I'm, I am I don't really know what to say when he doesn't mind you having frush. I mean, what a what a relatable thing to, to post on TikTok. I'm like a minute into making this video and I, I feel physically ill after reading that and then thinking about that. Like, why? Why do you guys want to see cringe so much? I see some like the worst stuff and I'm like, I can't even put that in a video. I've just watched something absolutely horrendous, and I can't even use it. I just got this neck tattoo. It's not finished. It's supposed to go gradient down lower. Um, and I'm having a whole entire... <sighs> whole entire identity crisis. Because it slightly... Nobody else would ever probably notice but me, but it slightly alters the shape of my face. What are you talking about? The Amish look is crazy popular right now. Everyone just loves to have the look of a beard. <laughs> and I feel like I don't... It's not me. And y'all are probably like, well, what do you think you're gonna get us a bold tattoo? Did I drew it on, painted it on so many times. <sighs> but the difference is, um, when I drew it on and colored it on, I would always like... When you lift your head super far back, you can kind of see where your jawline is, like your throat. Obviously, I know some people might be like, Ben, don't be mean. You know, she's clearly upset about this. But at the same time, why would you get such a bad tattoo? Like, did no one around you say, hey, this might not be a good idea to get such a bold tattoo? Like, you've got to really think about what you're getting tattooed on yourself because it will be permanently on you. And this one it is not good. Bark. I said bark. Good girl. Now somebody was asking for a treat. Bro, you just made the whole thing, which was already weird, ten times weirder. Got the perfect treat for you. <laughs> Can somebody come and claim they're too old to be on TikTok, son, making weird things like this? Can anyone just come and pick him up? Would be doing us a whole world of favors. Thank you. Into you. I should be over all the I honestly feel bad for the ladies who just watched that. And actually for everyone for that matter, I feel bad that I showed you that. That is going to be enough cringe for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I, I honestly do look at some atrocious stuff just for your entertainment. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.